Holly Dope checking in once again with another Photoshop tutorial. Today, we're just gonna knock out something simple. I was inspired by the black exploitation oh, era like and some that. of Larry June currency type cover arts. So we're just gonna make a sucker free black exploitation type cover art in Photoshop today. All right. So it's gonna be speed art slash tutorial. I will stop along the way as I always do to explain certain techniques and things like that. But for the overall part, you know how I do. It's gonna be a speed art. Try to keep up. All right, we're going to lock in. You're going to start, open up Photoshop. You do a 1600 by 1600 or 3000 by 3000. So boom, what we're going to do is, um, sometimes I start off a little back, a little weird. Um, I'm going to make it probably like a sun or something like that. So I probably want like a red background, yellow, to bring some contrast in. So here we go. Gradient map. Normal. We're gonna do a radial. Just see what they got for reds. Usually I just see what they got. Probably okay. keep it something like this. I'm gonna put some red. to blur the edges. background 
from from overseas. Uh, I took a background from Los Angeles. Sorry, guys. And then, ooh, yeah. You see how that just hits right there? We just gonna leave it like that, man. Like, that's cool right there. Give it a nice little lightness. Some pieces so what I do to make it easier is there's some already like uh black exploitation like posters or whatever so what you need to do is you need to be able to take elements from each piece and to create your own piece you don't want to just take it rip it off take this whole piece and then oh now nah, it's your piece nah you gotta kind of like play around with it a little bit more so I'm actually gonna make it a little bit bigger you're gonna go ahead and just rasterize that whatever and I'm just gonna cut out exactly the pieces that I need. And this part will be a speed up. So we're just gonna fast forward as I move. pieces cut out I cut out all my pieces that I'm gonna use uh, I got cars money explosion street signs shooting pimps all you need for a black rotation folder posted so look all you do is now you just start placing your pieces where you want your center pieces to be I can't tell you where to place your pieces because I don't know what story that you're trying to tell. So for me, I know I want her to be like my centerpiece at the top. So I know I want her at the tip, tippity top. And I might even, you don't have to keep the pieces as size. Like you could take this piece. Boom. Now I take it, cut it. Now I just want to make her bigger. She's the centerpiece. The story's probably gonna be about her. So everybody's gonna be around her. It's kind of close to the top for now, but we'll fix that when we start um, centering and everything. So boom, we got her. Now I really want this explosion probably on the right side of her. We're gonna flip this, transform, flip. got your main image here and what I do is now we're gonna go on Google I just grab some other things that don't have anything to do with it so for instance let's do some Renaissance painting because people are killing people in the painting uh, killing people and stuff in the thing so copy this boom what you're gonna do is you're gonna take all the faces because you don't really need faces You got your main image here. In the main image, we do have some adjustments we have to make. Now, in order not to get, you know, bypass a little copyright, things like that, you just gotta make the image, like I told you before, your own. So we're just gonna take her face, even though it's a beautiful black face. We're gonna take her face, and we're gonna cut. We're just gonna do that. Paste 
paste the picture that we had, put it right up underneath her face. Control T. Now, I'm going to take a piece of her face, put it in there, and replace her face. I know people don't do this. This is this is some new type stuff. That's cool. Right there. Boom. I'm going to take her. Take this. First. I'm gonna just uh, delete this stuff here. Everything that's outside of this circle. Right, and I'm just gonna soften up inside of here. So like, feather it. Like, what the hell? I know, right? And then on his face, what are we gonna do? Take this face. We're just gonna do the glasses. In fact, we're gonna keep the face. We're gonna keep the glasses. We're gonna erase his mouth. Real mutilation going on. Fill that in. Content aware for that. Smudge it a bit. Smudge. Alright, smudge it a bit. Just so it's cleaner. Around the edges. Around his face. Boom. Beautiful black image. Alright. Yeah. But we do have to kind of make a box out on their face. So we're going to go just like the white simple box. Right over her eyes. Stylized full paint. Oh yeah, now you see. Now you see it. Now you see it coming together. Now you see it. Here we go. Now this is up to you. You just gotta play around with it. So you got full paint. Now we're gonna go in there and go to blending modes. We're gonna go to blending modes. yellow glow grab it from in there
how the colors are starting to, you get it you see boom we're gonna add one more we're gonna add a hue and saturation to this bad boy and then like with this you can play with the colors you can make anything you want from there like if you want, if you want it to be blue purple black. i kind of like the color i already had pop a little the most saturation. You can colorize it too. If you put it on the top of the eyes. There we go. Alright. So now we have that. You probably want to add some textures to it. Boom. Some little noise. I'm going to take it. Fill this with gray. Create a new layer. Fill it with gray. Filter. Noise, we're just gonna add some noise. Let's keep it how it is, turn it on, gauging. Make sure it's the color one so it gives it a nice little different vibe. We're gonna go all the way down to the back. Just give it like a second vibe. That green. Alright, so boom, now we got some grain in there. Just paste it on there. Wow. Um, this. That we probably just gonna do another overlay. Yeah. Oh no, we probably just soft light. Forty minutes. Give it that nice little. You know what I'm saying? Give it that ring through the. You feel me? Yeah, give it that old feel. Get you brush. I have these star brushes. You can find them online. Just type in star star brushes. So I like this brush here. So we're just gonna go ahead and add some stuff, maybe like the uh, Oh yeah, that looks cool. Everything in there. Now that it has the detail and everything, that's how to make you lighten everything up a little bit. Usually you could do exposure, sometimes you do levels, depending on what you're trying to achieve. That's gonna sit over everything to give everything back with brightness. 
We're gonna use an old 70s font. All right. Use an old 70s font. Probably gonna make the main color yellow. Since that's the main color here. We're just gonna name it. We're gonna keep it sucker free in here. Yes, sucker free. Boom. Just so you don't have to keep doing this all the time. Okay. Now, all you gotta do is take this one, and all you gotta do is keep this one. You got the main one. Keep this one. Keep all those. Probably gonna do it a couple more times. I'm just supposed to go a little bit thicker. Alright. Gotta keep those. Keep them up. I'm gonna call that extrude as well. Like that. Color black. Yes, sir. Add a stroke on me. Stroke black. Nine. Wow. Keep those. Keep the text. Just give me that. Suck it free text. Suck it free. y'all finished you have a vintage 